In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for BrF2+. First thing we need to do is count the valence electrons. So let's take a look here on the periodic table, and we have those valence electrons written in here. So we find bromine right here. It's in group 7A, also called 17, seven valence electrons, plus fluorine. That's in the same group, so it also has seven valence electrons. But we have two fluorines, so let's multiply that by two. And then when we have a positive sign, that means that we've lost an electron. Electrons are negative. If you lose a negative charge, you become more positive. So we need to get rid of one electron here. So we're going to put minus one. Add this up, we get 14 plus 7, that's 21 minus 1, 20 total valence electrons for the BrF2 plus Lewis structure. We'll put bromine in the center of our Lewis structure. It's the least electronegative. And then we'll put the fluorines on either side. After we do that, we'll go over here and we'll put pairs of electrons between each of the atoms. That forms the chemical bond. So we have those there. And then we'll go around and complete the octet on each of the exterior atoms, each of the fluorines. So right now we've used 16 valence electrons, eight around this fluorine and eight here. We have 20. So let's put those remaining valence electrons around that central bromine. And when we do that, it completes the octet on the bromine. So now we've used all 20 valence electrons. Each atom has eight valence electrons. We're done. This is the Lewis structure for BrF2+. We should put brackets around it, though, show that it's an ion. And then we'll put a negative sign outside of the brackets so we make the charge apparent. And that's it. That's the Lewis structure for BrF2+. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.